Hey folks, my name is Scott. Thanks for tuning in. There's been some debate online as to whether or not the pocket rocket outperforms the Chinese knockoff and to what degree. So what I've done is I've just done a small boil off. I've taken two cups of water in identical pots, identical fuel, temperature of the water was the same. I turned both of them on full blast as far as the stove is concerned. Had a timer. Here's the results. All right, welcome everybody. Thanks for tuning in. This is just a small little demonstration. I'm going to pit the MSR Pocket Rocket on the left with the MSR Isopro Fuel against the Chinese knockoff on the right, also using MSR Isopro Fuel. I've got just under 20 ounces of water in each identical pot. As you can see here, 23.1 degrees Celsius in this right one. and 23.1 degrees Celsius in this pot. So they're identical temperatures, identical amounts. I'm going to fire up both stoves on high and, and we will see which one boils fastest. So we've got the MSR pocket rocket that boiled two cups of water in two minutes. I'll turn that off. And the Chinese knockoff at about the 225 mark is boiling the water. So there you have it, now back to you. So as you could see there in that quick demonstration, the pocket rocket did in fact boil the two cups of water in just around the two minute mark. Uncovered of course, the Chinese knockoff began to boil at about the two minute and 24 second mark. To me, that's pretty decent. That's uh, at this point, that's nominal. If, if in that two minutes it uses 24 seconds less fuel then that makes sense every two times you boil you're saving a minute worth of fuel but realistically i think they both are a good alternative this does have a piezo lighter it's self-sufficient this of course you need a lighter however i'm not ever sure you're going to be going out in the wilderness without a lighter in the first place and if you do that's on you if um if it was me i would certainly have a lighter i tend to bring more lighters than I would need. I have lighters all over the place, probably four or five at any one point in my pack. This one has a, a wind screen, this one doesn't. So under certain wind, this one doesn't stand a chance. It's up to you. I mean, they're built pretty much the same. They don't need much maintenance. There's a couple O-rings, one inside, and then this large one. This one too has the o-ring inside, one um, big one outside. One thing I will say is that the span on the pocket rocket is considerably larger and more stable. Your pot seems to sit nice and steady on it. It's, it's made well, it's good quality. I don't believe you're really going to be left stranded if you take this one any more so than if you take this one. I guess it's just a matter of opinion. 
One thing I will say as a positive for this knockoff that w with it, if you have a stove, you can put your fuel in. And this fits. Can you hear that? But the stove fits in with it, with its case. The pocket rocket, the, with the case, no go. Of course, you can put it in there without the case. Maybe just wrap it up in a camp towel or something. But that's kind of a bummer. This is really cool. Other than that, that's it. So 24 seconds, is it worth it to you? You decide. This is a superiorly made tool, I believe, with the wind baffle. There are some pros to it, but there you go. You saw it live.